It's not just Kia vehicles. The number behind me really big. Hyundai thefts are up 500% over the past year. WRTV's Meredith Hackler shares one victim's experience and what Hyundai says it's doing to fix this big problem. Hyundai and Kia thefts continue to be an issue across the country and right here in the city of Indianapolis. But one recent victim says she wasn't even notified by Hyundai about a new update they have for the software to stop these vehicles from being stolen. Even just in the Hyundai dealership earlier this year, I was just having some like routine maintenance done um, and they had given me a software update for just something with my engine never once mentioned that this was a problem. This surveillance video shows the thieves in action. You can see one of them taking the broken window and placing it in the next door neighbor's yard. The insurance adjuster said this is about his seventh one in a week. According to data from IMPD, as of September 28th, they've recorded 751 Hyundai thefts. That's compared to 125 all of last year. That's like my livelihood. I have three kids that go to school. Um, you know, we go to the gym, we have extracurricular activities. And so it's really hard to be a one car family in this city when there's not great public transportation. While Thomas claims she didn't know about the software update, Hyundai says they notified all of its customers by mail. That update creates an ignition kill feature, which prevents a USB from starting the vehicle. In a statement, Hyundai says they are working on rolling out mobile service centers to quickly and efficiently install the updates to customers. So far, the company has set up centers in Washington, D.C. and St. Louis, Missouri. To do better. As for Thomas, she isn't sure if her car will be able to be repaired or not, but she hopes the company takes responsibility for manufacturing a vehicle that's become a hot commodity for theft. I couldn't imagine like um, being a single parent and not being able to get my kids anywhere or not being able to afford insurance or like the repairs. Um, and so I really think that the, these companies, these huge corporations, Kia and Hyundai are to blame for that. Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Meredith, thank you. There are other ways to pr further protect your Hyundai or your Kia. Customers can buy a steering wheel lock or get a free one from INPD. Also, parking in a garage or a well-lit outdoor area helps as well. And always lock your doors.